Gordy, congratulations. You've been uh, named the VFL Player of the Year, mate. That must be a pretty special feeling. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's been a lot of fun this year, um, playing with all the VFL boys, um, and that was basically the aim of my year, have fun, and uh, whatever happens, happens. If games come, they come. If they don't, like what I've eventuated, uh, that's fine. I just want to have fun, enjoy my footy, and um, it's good to get a little bit of reward at the end of it, yeah. How proud are you knowing that you set yourself some goals this year in terms of your development and really achieve those? Yeah, I think that's uh, what the coaches reiterated with me, especially uh, Ben Matthews and, and Don Pike as well, um, saying that look after um, the little things and just keep working on your game, keep improving, and the results will come from there. So, um, yeah, it's just a bit of a developmental year and we'll go from there. What's your focus moving forward, Gordy? Obviously a debut on the horizon, hopefully in 2023, but I guess for you it's just about knuckling down. Exactly. Um, getting back to sort of what I've uh, tried to do this year, put one foot in front of the other, keep improving on the things I need to improve on over the pre-season and hopefully the results next year will look after themselves. Do you take a bit of a leadership role upon yourself, Gordy, uh, being one of the senior players in the VFL team? Uh, absolutely. I think I've always been sort of a natural leader and whether I try to or not, I think um, it sort of just comes along with the way I play and, and the role I play, I think, as well in the back line. It's... It's easy to see things and, and set people up um, ahead of the ball. So, yeah, let's try to help out the younger boys as, as much as I can. Enjoy your night. Thank you very much.